Welcome back to another episode of Mega Man 3 Perfect Runs. I'm your host, Dart Mosh. Last time we defeated Top Man. This time, let's go after Needle Man. These are new enemy type. These things are hairy hairies. As you can see, that's how they act. Right, new. Let's go down. This is a new enemy type. It's called a cannon. I kid you not, it's called a cannon. Yeah, I'm bows again. But they're not too much of a big deal. Nice. This meant we got a lure a little bit here. Nice. Nice! Not really an enemy, not really an enemy type, but these things are called needle presses. Mind you, they're not insta kill, but speaking of insta kill, I think this has got to be the only stage in where there are no death spikes, which is kind of ironic, actually. Not the only stage that has no death spikes. For a needle themed stage, this ha this place has no death spikes, which is kind of interesting to me. That's all I'm saying. No offense. But it's, it's just kind of weird. Alright, those green guys were called Hammer Joes. And this is a big heat. It is Mega Man 3's response to a giant big eye. It's not too durable, it doesn't take too many hits to kill, but so yeah. Time to deal with Needle Man. Gotta be a little bit quiet here because this is a reaction based battle. Wow! I got it in the first try! My strategies always work, mind you, so that's pretty nice. Nice surprise! I like it. Alright, that was great. But this guy, still, he's pretty tricky to deal with. And, but still, the good news is we got a new weapon. It's called the Needle Cannon. And Rush Jet. Rush Jet isn't a weapon, but it's a utility, and it's a really broken one. Anyways, let's continue on. So this stage wasn't actually too bad. It was one of the more fun ones, actually. <laughs> I still can't believe that I got him in the one sh one one I got him what in one try. I still couldn't believe that. He's gonna cause a lot of more. Uh, yeah. Anyways, time for the. Oh uh, no, wait, there are no outtakes. Oh well, time for the outtakes though. Time to showcase the Rush Jet! Gotta find a place to put it down first. There we go. So as you can see, Rush Jet is pretty easy, pretty, pretty useful weapon. You can stand on it, you can move in any direction you want. If you don't, if you can jump around to conserve ammo, because your game somehow registers that Registers that you aren't on Rush Jet, and they think that uh, because you're not on Rush Jet, you're not going to use any ammo. You can actually also shoot it as well. Though it only seems you can only shoot twice this time around. Hold on, let me see something. Yeah, when you're on Rush Jet, you can only have a maximum of two shots per per two shots, which is another downgrade. Wait, hold on. When you're equipping Rush Jet, you can only have two shots on the screen at the same time. I mean, I mean, that's quite interesting. When you slide, 
Whoa. Whoa. What just happened there? Also, when you're somehow, you know, moving like this, you're right. You can always go back to rest. You can always, you know, move back to rest jet and stuff. Ooh, look at me. It's called moonwalking. And it's great. He doesn't teleport away? I mean, alright, that's interesting. Didn't know about that. Anyways, that's quite interesting. And, uh, and yeah. Time to showcase the Needle Cannon. Time to showcase the Needle Cannon! So basically what the Needle Cannon is, it's a basically a rapid fire Mega Buster. You can hold the button down and it'll release a bunch of... a bunch of needles real quick. I mean, you can only, just like the Mega Buster, you can have only three on screen, which is kind of dull. But it does, it does sort of have its uses, but it's a real bummer that you can only have three on a th Three at a single time, you know? It really is a bummer. But it does have a lot of ammo to compensate for that. And it sort of is a pretty good weapon. Because you don't want to be keep you don't want to keep on mashing that Mega Buster, don't you? You don't you don't you don't, don't want to ma mash that Mega Buster, don't you? So that's why I sort of understand why people like it, but I I personally don't feel like I can find a lot of uses for this weapon. Mainly because it just even though it has a lot of ammo, it can sometimes drain really quickly. You know, and it doesn't seem to deal more damage to certain enemies. And it does have this up and down thing, which makes it a bummer. I mean, that up and down thing can sometimes, that the needle, if it is down, basically what I mean is like, if, you, if, if the needle that you shot is going down, right? Um, what I'm saying is that the, the needle that you shot, like if it's, if it's below, if it, it if it's like down downward, then the more than the, the the other needles that are like higher, then they can actually bypass the bypass the hammer Joe's, you know hammer because it's low enough to actually bypass it. So that's kind of interesting, I do believe. Other than that, it's a uh, it's it's a uh, it's a rapid fire mega buster. Not too much to say about this one. Not really too useful, and yeah. Oh well. Time for the difficulty analysis! This one was surprisingly easy, actually. I give Needle Man a 3 out of 10. Uh, there were a few reasons because of it, of why I give him a 3 out of 10. And uh, here's and one of the reasons is because I found a strategy to defeat Needle Man. To, to consistently defeat Needle Man, which uh, did a number on his score. Otherwise, he'd get like a very high score. I, I would definitely believe so. But let's talk about my strategy. Now let's talk about Needle Man. To me, to me, Needle Man. Even though I still use this strategy to, for myself, 
He still is a threat in some ways. Number one, Needle Man is quick, he is unpredictable. Number two, the varying ranges of his jumps. The varying ranges of his jumps, um. Yeah. They can be quite. They can be a little bit worrisome, especially if he's at the edge. We'll talk about more why, when he's at the edge, he's a little bit more worrisome. But all I can tell you is that if you use my strategy, every time he jumps a forward distance, you can always slide under him. You can always dodge him. You can always pass under him, no matter the circumstances. Keep in mind the word jumping forward. So, um, the strategy that I will post later on will be in the link in the description. But for now, all you need to know is that he gets a 3 out of 10. So, um, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm here, I hope you have a good day so far, and next time we'll go after Snake Man. So, stay tuned!